good afternoon to all audience. Tadya Siau Hao. Ane welcome Andi Badakangal. Selamat tengah hari. First of all, I can't express how grateful I am here to sharing this webinar to this wonderful afternoon. First of all, I need to thank you, Southern University College. Secondly, I need to thank you, Faculty of Business and Management. Thirdly, I need to thank you, School of Professional and Continuing Education Space. Lastly, I need to thank you, parents, students, and future leaders who span and hear what knowledge that I will sharing for this webinar. First of all, I need to introduce myself. My name is Sudan, son of Dali Naidu. I'm a lecturer in Southern University College under the Faculty Business and Management. I'm one of the instructor of Professional Diploma in Business and Management, BDBN, the new courses. And I am specialized in economics and human resource management and development. Okay, today our webinar topic will be the importance of economics knowledge in your life. What is the economic? What is the knowledge? What is the link between economic and our knowledge in our daily life? Let me to explain you this wonderful topic. First, before we know the economic knowledge, we need to know the three W in economic knowledge. That is what, why, and who. First of all, the question will be what? Economic plays a role in our everyday life. Why I say so, we will experience this every, this uh, roles of the play in the, our daily life. Example, I can give you a wonderful example. When we go to a bakery shop, want to purchase a cake, we will use the money as a medium of the exchange. This is included in the economy. Other than that, you go to the night market, Pasar Malam, okay? You go to the Pasar Malam and buy the fruit. So it also includes the economic education and knowledge. Studying economic enhance and enables to understand the past, the future, the current models and apply them to uh, reality and government and business and individual. The second question will be why? This inquiry into causes and effects and relationship in key to influencing the economic growth because economic growth is related with the GDP. What is that GDP? Growth of domestic product to emulate our current situation of the economic and standard of the life. Economic we look at right at benefit on people, on job market and society when advertising how to allocate all the resources without the wasting because we need to do our business and our economy in the efficiency way. Here I listing most six reasons why we need to study economic and important. Firstly, you will expand your vocabulary. Secondly, you will put new terms into practices. Thirdly, you will understanding your own spending habits. Fourth, you will learn how to leverage economic tools. Fifth, you will be better prepared for graduate school. And lastly, you will improve your career or the prof prospect for your future. Let's I explain one by one. Okay, for the expand your vocabulary, what is the link with the economic, with the vocabulary? Okay, first of all, <coughs> whether it is scarcity, scarcity is the limited of the resources, and opportunity cost must give 
give up to obtain one product with another product or equilibrium the price which demand meet the equal of the supply. An economic cost will give you fluency in the fundamental and the terms needed to understand how market works in the daily life. Other than that, even if you don't use this word often in your current roles or life, studying this economic term will give you a better understanding and then of the market dynamic as a whole and how they, uh, we can apply in the organization. Secondly, you will put in the new terms into practices. Economic is not just learning fancy set of the words. It is actually into them to develop a variable business strategy. When you understand these terms and keywords, you can use theories and framework like SWOT, S-W-O-T, SWOT analysis, to access the situation and make a variety of the economic decision for your organization, like whether you persuade a bundle of the unbundled pricing model and for the best way to maximizing the resources and maximizing the profit. The third one, you will understand your own spending habit. I'm sure all of you have this experience, okay? Spending habit, okay? So, economic will teach you uh, how you organize, okay? Your own resources to purchase goods and services. For example, willingness to pay, okay? Willingness to pay to maximizing amount someone who willing to pay for goods and services. Therefore, a frequency, a gap between hypothetical actual willing to pay and learning about to help you decode and then own behavior and pattern of the purchase, the sound of the decision. For example, I can say you one of the philosophers said so. Okay, this is the Benton, uh, philo uh, one of the philosophers said. A simple grocery store visit become filled with economic reference and analytical ponders. Okay, so this is the say by the Benton. Okay, fourth, you will learn how to leverage the economic tools. <coughs> this is a very important because why all of us want to um, do the business, okay, earn more money. So if you learn economic and don't know how to leverage the tools, so you might be face the Failure. So learning economic theory is one of the thing, but developing a tool is to make the business decision is another. Economic will teach you a basic and give you concrete tool of the analysis. For example, conjoint analysis is the statistical approach to measuring the consumer demand and specific product feature. A tool will allow to get you the strategic and then complicated feature versus the price trade-off to the customer make everyday life. For example, okay, I can give you the example. Imagine you are the iPhone owner, okay? You want to know what part of the iPhone should be improved, whether the battery, whether the size of the screen, whether the camera quality, whether the color, whether the size or weight of the iPhone. So all this is the leverage of the economic tool to do, do the best decision. The fifth one is the better prepare for the graduate school. <coughs> all of us want to uh, further our uh, study uh, after degree, then we go to the master level, then we go to the PhD level. So, in an additional to help, you make a better decision in both in the personal and professional life, okay? Learning economic is also beneficial if you are considering graduate in the business degree. So, students who want to persuade in the business degree, they need a strong base of the economic foundation. Studying economic can equip your with a problem solving and then uh, skill, uh, technical knowledge to, 
uh, to improve and then prepare for your MBA further study. Furthermore, with a foundation of the knowledge, economic, you will be able to use all the economic theory and framework to decide which one is the best and worst. So that is the we call analytical analysis. <coughs> the last one is improving your career prospect. So an education in economy can improve you in the employability in a variety of the industry. You can go to all the industry with the economic theory. According, okay, this is the small research that I read from a journal. <coughs> According to the World Economic Forum, future on the job report, analytical thinking and complex problem solving skill top the list of the skill that employees will find increasingly important by 2025. Both of these can be gained by studying economic. So our future will be challenges, guys. So thinking about it. In addition, many of the career require knowledge of the economic concept, model and relationship. Some possible career part of the economic uh, students include like finance, banking, insurance, politics, healthcare, administration. Now, we go to <coughs> number third, okay, who? Who will beneficial the, the economic, okay? So, the first one is the professional economic career. The second one is the economic career banking. Third one, accountancy. The fourth one, business and financial consultancy. The fifth one, public sector. And then actuarial and data analysis career in the economics. And the last one will be the alternative economic degree, job and career. So I will be explained one by one why this prospect need the economic knowledge. <coughs> the first one, economic career. As a professional economics, you will involve in the research and analyzing economic data and issues and trend. For most economic career, you need to study uh, economic at a postgraduate level of the gain spe uh, specialized uh, skill and require. To be a professional economic, you need confidence to producing the economic forecast and reports. The second one is for banking line. So who want, uh, inter uh, who interested uh, working in the banking? So you need uh, make sure you have the economic knowledge. Banking career are very popular with the economic graduate, offering the scope of a high earning and then a high demand of the economics. Graduate with the background of the economics, a particularly value for the role of the finance. Control the finance report, planning the finance, risk analysis and data analysis and consultancy. With a focus of keeping financial requirement of the client and the business on track, the banking career are largely concerned uh, with the advertising and providing the service for the range and then banking client with the consumer. So normally the banking uh, people, uh, they will give the idea, okay, uh, can do the business or not, can uh, all the loans and then monetary terms at all. Okay, we go to the, the third one, <coughs> accountancy. Okay, we go to the accountancy. Okay, for the accountancy, to become a qualified accountancy, okay, most of us, we know the AC, ACCA, okay, cert at all, but <coughs> you need the future professional qualification, but many accountancy roles are available to those who studied economy. So you need to study economy before you go to the accountancy job, okay? In accountancy role, you can also work across the multi-industry 
focusing on the monitoring the financial situation and organization business and individual career in the accountancy typically uh, focus on the uh, recording classifying interpreting the data and then communicate uh, communicating the financial data so all these economic graduate <coughs> under the accountancy often able to make sense uh, of a complex of the data set and identify the root or strong basement of the financial problem making them good matches for the accountancy role number four economic career in business and financial consultancy <coughs> okay economic uh, economics expert okay are the heart of the business world and financial consulting they consult us okay all the strategy okay uh, the way we do the business to invest okay we, when you need to invest uh, uh, the better profit you will get okay we cannot invest uh, simply okay and then economic graduate may find the position in the large and medium size organization where economic research is required okay the role of an economic research require in depth of the knowledge of the economic theories and model okay throughout the uh, analytical uh, and problem solving the skill and mathematical ability up to date the industry knowledge and awareness the corporate finance essential in this role <coughs> next we go to the number five economic career in the public sector okay this is more uh, related with the government okay <clears throat> so in this diagram you can see bank negara malaysia okay bank negara malaysia this is the one of the biggest uh, uh, sector okay to to monitoring our economy okay <coughs> for those who study economic will be valued in the area of the public and private spending including the role within the pricing and risk analysis financial consultancy and economic planning okay economic career in the public sector are often involved in the public taxation okay so when you want to help your friend do the taxation you need to know the basic economic knowledge first okay and then the transportation uh, and then uh, commercial waste service and then energy and other form of the government spending so guys remember for malaysia the biggest component is a government spending okay the component uh, the biggest spending is a government spending that's why the public sector the economic theory is must very good and very clear in depth okay and then <coughs> the last i think not last number six okay actuarial and data analysis career in the economy okay this actuary actually is very famous uh, nowadays okay an actuary is a business professional whose roles in evaluate and advise on the impact of the financial risk and uncertainty so they know when is the financial uh, crisis will happen so how to back up at all so the actuarial and data analysis they are very smarter okay using knowledge of the both business and economic actuaries uh, provide report uh, diverse the strategy on how lessen this risk so how to avoid the risk from the financial uh, risk at all <coughs> okay and then actuaries also should be skilled in the mathematic and complying statistic but also uh, to communicate the complex of the data effectively and non-expert okay the last one is the alternative economic degree job and career so this is a very basic one okay with a background of the economic we can go anywhere anytime okay other common economic career and role include auditor stock uh, broker uh, insurer okay business manager and then retail merchandise and then a uh, price analytics and then a uh, statistician and finance consultation and sales person when you do uh, uh, 
a, as a working as a promoter okay you know the price tag at all so you need at least a simple economic knowledge okay but you can uh, do with the economic degree if none of the above appear to you well you may want to also uh, consider this uh, broader option like business intelligence international uh, development and then human resource also using the economic why some may ask why human resource need use the economic so when human resource do the payroll means they need to do the calculation they need to analyze the future at all, future budget at all so all this need e call economics okay and then other than that entrepreneur you want to start a business for your own also you need a basic economic <coughs> okay this picture okay is make me smile okay when you see this picture okay a monkey okay not monkey lah uh, okay lah monkey okay monkey uh, thinking okay what thinking <coughs> what the monkey is thinking got three scenarios <coughs> The scenario one, two, three is given to the monkey to think. Okay, scenario number one: working at the restaurant on minimum wages. Okay, wages is a uh, salary. Yeah, don't assume the cheesy wages at the KFC. Yeah, guys. Okay, about two thousand uh, ringgit a month. The second scenario is uh, studying and going to a good college to earn a diploma and degree certificate. Third is spending most of the your time and engaging in the leisure activities such as playing games and uh, or sleeping and other other daily life okay from <coughs> from these three scenario which one you think that is the best option to you okay so i give time okay five seconds so think scenario one or scenario two or scenario three which one is the best for your future okay <clears throat> each of these uh, scenario has a positive and negative impact and effect on our life and turn out on our economic growth if we choose okay let's say example okay if we choose the first scenario it is going to hinder our education thus leading to her getting lower grades and then which will have a adverse effect on the future okay if we choose to follow the second scenario we will not have enough of the time to spend to, on the leisure activity uh, neither uh, will we have enough of the money to spend during our time in the college but once we pass uh, our college and get a degree we will better chance to get a high post and a high paying uh, salary allow us to be more economically stability the third is the last option does not need to be explained as it has a most negative impact and effect in our life so scenario one and two and three to enhance a better life to to feel a luxury and comfort zone life zone we need to choose the second option studying and going to a good college to earn a diploma and degree in a conclusion okay we are, so i through the webinar i already share you why uh, what and who <clears throat> and then i give you the scenario make you think also okay in a conclusion i can conclude subject might be boring yeah my my most of the students say teacher boring subject but end of the uh, time they will realize economy how important so subject might be boring and waste of the time but looking it benefit in our own life teachers is not only important but essential to our daily lifestyle okay so <clears throat> student might can ask where i can learn all this okay 
So where can I enhance my economic and business knowledge? Okay, so Southern University College uh, already provide the professional diploma in business management in the short term BDBM. Okay, this is a wonderful course. The course duration only one year, and then the classes is conduct in the weekend only. Okay, so here I provide the link and then the contact number. So you need the further uh, information about the detail, about the cost fee, about the timing and all, you can go to the www.facebook.com slash Southern University College or you can call the number 011-1141-5573. So you want to learn, then this is the good platform to you because we have a lot of the knowledgeable and well experienced lecturer are ready to provide the service to you. Next, <coughs> okay, this is my last slide. Okay, <coughs> okay, this is the philosophy that I always uh, bring where I uh, go and at all. Okay, my philosophy is a very simple. Let's learn and let go the L, and finally, you will earn. The more knowledge that you learn, the more money you will earn. Are you ready to learn and earn? Because we are ready to provide the service to you. Thank you very much.